Hey guys, what's up? It's Tommy, and today I'm doing another mod showcase on the TNT mod. So first of all, we have the regular TNT. So this one is gonna be nothing to compare of what we're gonna do. Next up, we have the five times TNT. This one is basically five times that. It's actually a lot bigger, but when we get up to like 100 times, you'll see a big difference. Next up, we have the times 20 TNT. This one will be 20 times that explosion. And the 100 will basically be this all over again, but like five times four. Next up, we have the time 100 times TNT. This one might crash us, but we don't know. This one might just be a little bit of lag, but it will work. We did a episode before and it worked. And see what I mean by like five times that weeny teeny one and this one it's pretty big i mean there's a 500 one last time we did the five time 500 times tnt it crashed minecraft and that didn't work out so in this video will we will be not showing that one but chloe what do we have next next up we have this the freeze TNT. I'm suggesting this one might be a bit, um, like freeze stuff. Well, we'll wait. I think I know what it does, so um, I might just grab a few trees and some grass. Because I saw another video like this, and um, it said like the freeze TNT can freeze trees and that's what we're gonna try out today and it might work it might not so yeah so it basically turns the whole thing into ice so Chloe what do we have next next up we have the fire TNT I'm thinking this one might be a bit Close to that one. And the effects of it are really cool too. Yeah. And it basically just spreads a, a circle of fire. What's up next, Chloe? Next we have the Hellfire, which is basically a bigger version of fire and it a lot of more effects. And, and it, it just shoots out TNT. Fire yes, TNT. and it's also like the never. Yeah. Basically, with these two TNTs, you can recreate part of a never in your own world. And it even spawns in gas, but unfortunately, we're actually in peaceful to prevent some of the lag for you guys. So, Chloe, what's up next? Next up, we have the Ocean TNT. I'm suggesting we don't do it near that. But, after I, what I've seen of this one, I think it creates a big ocean. We're actually going to do this one again. But, we're going to do it in the 100. But, just to show you guys, I'm just going to show you it here. And, it basically puts a big ocean for you. And, we're going to try it using the big 100 hole and we're gonna see how it turns out so let's just wait and see there's the squids and there's lots of the water that's pretty cool so Chloe what's up next next up we have the different types of house TNT so I the mankind's mark the stone, the brick house, 
and the wood house. So first we have mankind's mark. So this one is basically a big house and these ones are nothing compared to this one. So let's have a look inside. Next one is the stone house. It's basically a miniature version of the mankind mark. This one is not that good compared to this one, but still it's a good starter height. So let's have a look inside. In this one it's nothing much, it's just a crafting table. On to the next one. The next one is the brick house. It's a little bit it has a little bit more inside it and is a bit more advanced. This one would probably be a much stronger one. And it would be easier if you were just trying to find some brick. This one has a bed, a double chest, a furnace, a crafting table, and a carpeted floor. Looks pretty nice. What's next? Next, we have the wood one. This one would be if you're just starting a new land and, like, you had nowhere to live and you needed some wood. So, in this one, it's a little bit less decorated. It doesn't have, like, a carpet floor but still, and a double chest, but still I think it's pretty good as a starter hut. So, next we have the snowy TNT, which is a lot like the ice, but instead snow. Yep. So let's try it out. So basically, this one you can kind of create a a snowy biome in like your own world if you just need some snow so I'm gonna do it again but what's next Chloe? Next up next up we have the animal slash mob TNT it says animal but it has a surprise in it So basically this one makes a big like mob party with some animals and that's why I changed it. Anyway, pretty cool. So we're actually gonna keep it, but just for you guys, I'm just gonna time set day and we'll keep on going. So what's next, Chloe? Next up we have the stand firework TNT. This one's probably going to be a giant firework. If it is, then I'm going to turn it to night. Actually, it's just the... I get it. It's, um, basically, it shoots up sand and then it explodes like a firework. Yeah. Next up, we have the firework TNT. This one's a little bit like it, but it actually shoots proper fireworks. If it does... I think it actually just does that, but with TNT. This shouldn't crash us, cause it's only normal. But this one could go on for a long time, so we're just gonna go over here for a bit. Only two more TNTs left. Next up, we have the gravity TNT. This gravity TNT, I think we might want to get a bit far away. Cause it's probably su gonna suck us in. But this is probably what's going to happen, so you might want to run when you do that, because it shoots you up into the clouds, and then you come back down, and if you're in survival mode, you'd probably die and lose everything. Last of all, for the TNTs, we have the meteor shower. If Thomas can find it. Sorry guys, but we actually had a glitch and it actually went out of my t went out of my inventory, so we're just gonna grab it. Oh yeah, it's here. And guys, just need to get a flint and steel, and we'll be back on track. So this one, I'm thinking. Probably just does the same thing as the other one, but it actually lasts a lot longer, as you can see. It could go on for a few minutes, so we're just gonna go away, and then we'll 
go on to some special ones. Now, we're going on to the dynamites. With these dynamite, we're not going to do the dynamite times 500, but we are going to do all the rest. The dynamites are a little bit different, but you just have to right click and have them in your hand and they'll do whatever. So they'll do what they say. What one's first? First we have the ocean one. The ocean one kind of does the same thing, but a lot quicker and we could you could actually make a whole underwater base just by following this a couple of times. What's next? next up? I would say the nuclear to last. Next we'll do Hellfire. Hellfire is probably like the TNT, but just does that. Yep. So next, next we'll have the fire. This one probably does the fire circle, but since it's dynamite, it doesn't hold as much fire, so it only does that. Next, we have the eruption, erupting dynamite. The eruption probably just does, this one could be a little bit dangerous. I don't know why you would do that if you were right next to your house in survival. Next, we have the snowy dynamite. I'm not going to do the snow near that, but we can do it over here. And again, since the dynamite can't carry as much, it only does a smaller patch. And finally, we have the nuclear. This one spreads quite a lot, so I would recommend not doing it near lots of animals or near your house. And something other about the nuclear is it actually knocks you back and puts toxic waste on the ground. And if you stand on it in survival, you'll actually die. Um, like if I spawn a mob on it, it will actually start hurting it, like this creeper. So, that's all from the dynamite. Now onto some special TNT. First up, we have the floating island. Then we, then after, we'll have the heaven's gate, and then we'll have the hell's gate. So, with the floating island, you could actually build a house up there. And if you had a waypoint mod, you could actually live up there. So, it's pretty good. And it can protect you from some mobs. And what the floating island one does is that it lifts up the ground, but basically it duplicates it. Yeah. So, it doesn't take anything from down below. It just lifts it up. Like you can see, all these mobs spawned. And this is exactly where I spawned it. So... It just transfers all the blocks up. Now, Next, we have the Heaven's Gate. I haven't actually done this one, so I don't know what happens. So, let's find out. There's just a little bit of lag, guys. But, I don't know what's happening. So... And I don't think these are working right now, so I'm going to end up with a video here. Oh, there it goes. Actually, I think it just happened. So, it made like a gate to heaven. And it kind of, this one's a little bit different. It kind of pulls out a bit of the ground. Actually, and sometimes it duplicates like this. And I think... Hell's Gate might be a little bit different if I can find it. Yep. So, let's do it. These ones are a little bit laggier. So, I think they might be a bit bigger. But, I think you've got to understand that. And it looks like it's doing something. It kind of puts some gusts in the sky. And, I don't know what else it does. But, if you guys... Like, actually, it came up. So, it basically puts a little never in your world. And I'm going to end it up. Wait, why don't we just have a look at what's for the never portal? And after this, I'll end up with video. And if you guys liked it, please subscribe and like. And if you guys have any suggestions for what, for what to do next, leave them in the comments. 
Well, peace out, guys.